It's Saturday, which is one day off from the usual Sandbox blog post schedule, but it seems like hopefully we'll be seeing more consistent posts from Face Punch starting in 2024 in relation to updates about the game's development. This time around, we got another technical blog post talking about the new action graph system. Reminder, if you want to get every little detail that was posted in this blog post, check the link in the description for more. For the newcomers that most likely have no idea what this even is, the action graph is a visual coding system that basically every modern game engine uses nowadays. The system is as it's described is visual, meaning allowing you, the developer, to see and connect logic nodes together to make game objects and do certain things that you want it to do. Of course, while there is still coding involved, it's mostly in the back end. There's even a section of the blog post that talks specifically about who the system is for and why from James King, one of the programmers working on Sandbox dating, programming is so much fun, but it can be daunting for beginners. I want Sandbox to be a fantasy getaway into coding just like Gmod was for my generation. To that end, my evil plan is for Action Graph to lure them in by being as fun as possible to use. After a while, they might realize they've actually been programming the whole time and give then a language like C Sharp a try. Along with that, it would be fantastic if Action Graph could be expressive enough for even experienced programmers to want to use, even if only for simpler tasks. I think visual scripting has some huge advantages if we really lean into it being visual. Of course, it's a very interesting take as to why the action graph is being implemented into Sandbox. But it also shows us that what Face Punch and Gary are up to is allowing as many people as possible who are not only just veteran or experienced developers make games on Sandbox, but basically anyone that has a sliver of interest and wants to get involved to get more into game development. Sandbox could be that game for that audience. It's a given that while it has been attempted before with the entity system to originally entice creators from Gary's mod to have a smooth transition over to Sandbox, which would allow them to be familiar with creating mods and more with that system, Facebook and Gary thought to extend the pool of interest in game development even further by allowing, as I mentioned before, basically anyone to get involved and give it a try. Now, another topic I do want to talk about, as I'd like to hear from you, the community, is about the game itself slowly starting to shift into a different creation that what a lot of people probably did not expect the game to go into. Me personally, I'm here for the ride and rather completely interested to see how crazy Sandbox's development will truly go. But it is interesting to see that some folks to be kind of turned off by some of these updates, understandably so, and others to be quite confused. While Sandbox is not going to appeal to absolutely everyone at first, it's confusing as during my time covering the game, what's been offered as currently available while some are still in development and hopefully we'll get more info in the future, is allowing you the player to experience possibly a plethora of different game types and styles made by the community and modders, add-ons, mods, and more also made by the community, just like Gary's mod, the possible opportunity, hopefully, if Valve gives Gary the go-ahead to not only release games for people to play once on Sandbox, Sandbox, but actually release them and give them the opportunity to also do so as a standalone game on Steam, which I covered in a video I'll mention later. And the opportunity to not only use the tools that are provided, but to create your own tools to use and share with the rest of the community as a way to improve and build on top of the already existing tool set for the game. While there's a lot to possibly offer with Sandbox, I've always found that specifically interesting as I do like to understand and conversate with the community to also understand as to why sometimes. But overall, what are your opinions on this and what do you think about the action graph system itself? Speaking more about that video where I mentioned about Sandbox could double as not only a platform, but also a place to work on games and release them as standalone games, possibly on Steam, check out this video right here. And thanks for watching.